Hello, and thank you for joining us at today's Economic and Energy Summit. I'll admit that today doesn't look anything like what we thought it would be. Even a few days ago, I expected to be attending this event with you in person at the Grand America. We've already postponed this event several times because of COVID-19, and perhaps it's only fitting that I'm joining with you today virtually. What could be more 2020? Wherever you are today, we are glad to have you. Unfortunately, our state is experiencing its largest surge of coronavirus yet. We have now had over 100,000 cases of the virus in the state of Utah, and our hospitals are on the verge of not being able to accommodate the demand for quality care for those who need it. These are very sobering times. These are very frustrating times. We each need to exercise caution and make sacrifices that we would rather not make in order to slow the spread of COVID-19. But there are some silver linings, even in this crisis. And that is what I would like to speak to you about today. Utahns are uniquely resourceful and hardworking. We do know how to roll up our sleeves and go to work to turn things around. And we know how to weather storms. When I first took office in 2009, we were in the depths of the Great Recession. But we found tremendous success in recovering from that recession by relying on good sound principles. Those principles have led us to have low and consistent tax rates. In fact, the Utah Foundation identified Utahns as having the lowest tax obligation that they've ever had in the past 27 years. We have done regulation reform, so we have sensible regulations for the business community to abide by. We've saved for a rainy day. We have limited government, and we've made it even more efficient than ever before. Together, we have created the strongest, most diverse economy in the nation. In 2019, we led the country in private sector job creation, and we have consistently had one of the nation's lowest unemployment rates. And Utah was ranked as the best state for jobs and the best state in the nation for fiscal management. Those are just a few of the accolades that we've received recently. Let me submit to you that we will rise from the current public health and economic crisis by following those same sound principles, by working together, by wearing masks, by socially distancing and staying home when we are sick or exposed to the coronavirus, we can in fact win this contest against COVID-19. And our businesses will continue to innovate. They will adapt to the circumstances that we face. And together we will come out of this and be stronger than we were ever before. In fact, we are already succeeding. For example, did you know that recent data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics indicates that today we have more people in our workforce than we had pre-pandemic? That's remarkable. We still rank second in the country for private sector job creation. And 24-7 Wall Street ranked Utah's economy as the best in the country just a few weeks ago. A report from Moody's Analytics said Utah cities on the Wasatch Front were the best positioned in America to recover in the post-COVID-19 era. So we are now in the midst of a storm. But there is no better place to weather that storm than being here in Utah. So thank you for joining with us today. Thank you for doing business in Utah and for joining us in finding creative solutions to the challenges that we face today by rolling up our sleeves together and going to work. So stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. And go Utah.